we have the two brand new KG single blade pocket knives. What is good, Grey Gang? We're actually here today. We are kind of in a rush, just saying. We got the old trap and shack on wheels. Full camo and the Remington 870. You may already know what we're doing. But just in case you don't, uh, we're going, uh, we're actually going to go crow hunting. Yes, that is right. We're going crow hunting. I recently, uh, crow season actually went out for like the winter. For some reason, I don't know why it goes out in December, but it does. But then it actually came back in the beginning of January. And I didn't really realize it. So whenever I got on the website and I was just looking at what was in season and I saw crow, I was kind of freaking out because crow hunting, is like one of my favorite things to hunt. No kidding. Like I love squirrels. I like deer hunting. Coyote hunting is fun, but I'm not successful at it. Pro hunting is fun. I just like it. And you guys really do too. But last year before season was finally out, there's one thing that I did do. And that is probably overspend on about 15 decoys. I don't know why, but I had a feeling that maybe decoys could help me out. Now, is that true? Honestly, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure a few decoys are great. I don't know if this many decoys is great. Like, whenever I get them spread out here, you'll actually see. But I went mayhem, dude. I bought every type of crow decoy, every single one I could find at, at a decent price. Like, we got this one. I've been using this one for a while. I'm just gonna set him up right there. We got ones like these. We'll just throw them over there and hope that they land right. We got more big ones, and I'm telling y'all, the whole thing is full of crow decoys. In this part of Kentucky, I really don't have any kind of like bird hunting options. I mean, I don't really see ducks anywhere. So duck hunting's really not an option. Basically, all I have is crow hunting. And whenever crow hunting is here, I like to do it. I got a pretty big call. It's back there in the back, but it's a nice call. And it's pretty loud. It'll bring them in for a good ways. But let me go ahead and show you a real quick time lapse of me trying to set out my decoys. I have a legit army of crows out here. More than the flock I'm trying to call in, probably. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. This twelfth one over here, we're gonna let it be the scout crow. It's actually got a clip on it. One little crow hunting tactic once you do set up your crow decoys, you wanna to try to get one and hang it as high as you can. Because what you're gonna do is that's gonna imitate the scout crow in most, like, every flock of crows. There's a scout crow. What he does is he basically just hangs up as high as he can and makes sure everything's okay. And whenever we call in crows, it's going to make it look even more natural because, well, we're going to have a scout crow. So I've just came over here to this little building. Just put him up on top. Whenever they're out there flying around, they'll say, oh, yep, there's the crows. There's the scout. All looks normal. But yeah, baby, we got the army out here. Um, I think I'm, gonna, I'm probably, I'm probably going to set up either on that tree or right over there on that other tree. I think I'm going to set up on one of those saplings. But before we do get into it, I just want to say, look, guys, I'm decked out in KG gear. There is no type of animal I use more KG gear than crows. I mean, I got the KG hat up here. This thing's actually epic. I use it for crows, too. I really like it. I mean, squirrels. I like it for squirrels because squirrels are above and they see your hat. They can't see your face. Also got the KG long sleeve hunting shirt. This thing absolutely dynamite when it's not smoking hot outside. Then of course I got the KG Predator fanny pack. Chest strap this time. That way I can just hold everything on my chest. I've also got the KG face mask, which I'll put on in a minute. And the KG fingerless gloves. Besides that, I don't think I have anything more KG on besides my... Yeah, that's it. Now we're about to go ahead and get started, but I do want to say this one thing. There's been this thing called like the coronavirus going around. And it's really scaring a lot of people. But there's actually been research going on very recently recently that has like uh, there's been a couple studies so far i think duke and some other college done one and they actually found that if you subscribe to my youtube channel your chances of getting it actually goes down 20 to 25 percent now that five percent range is mainly due to uh pre-existing health conditions but this is just the message for me to you don't take the risk guys go ahead and subscribe you'll be you'll be happy and if you do get the coronavirus i'm not liable but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get my shotgun get the gopro and then i'm actually gonna drive off the mule because if they see the mule they're pretty smart guys they can tell if something's up and if the mule's out here in the middle of the field or even hit under the tree they're actually gonna be able to see it i think we should have a pretty good day because not too long ago not lying like two days ago there were some crows in my neighbor's field and i think i might have even heard some this morning so i'm gonna be sitting right there 
there's that my guns right there all my bullets of course right in here on the kg fanny pack guys like right now i've got my gloves my face mask but right under that's about a full box of shells which we could use and still not kill anything they, they used to call me sky blaster i'm excited guys I'm, I'm like excited for this i think we have really good potential i mean it's crow season if we can't do any good here oh What's going to stop us from just moving locations and keep on trying? Nothing. That's the thing, guys. Nothing. But now, thanks to this little thingy right here, I can uh, flip a button and actually have a little decoy. This is a great call. It's an Ecotech or Aquatech. I don't know what it's called. It's supposed to be like a blackbird, but you know what? I'm just going to use it as a crow. Looks close enough to me. I'm going to clip the remote right here to the fanny pack. There we go. Now let's hop on the mule, get this thing as far away out of here as possible. Okay, we may have a problem. Mm, come on, you. Kill dude, kill dude. It's not in neutral. Okay, let's try it. Still nothing. Oh, gosh. Houston, we have a problem. We are grounded. I need a new mule. Someone sponsor me, please. All right, we made it for now. Oh, I think we're going to play crow fight, and then we're going to hope that the crows think that those two are fighting. Even though they're fake. And we're going to park the mule right here by the pool pond. Let's go ahead and check it out. See how they're doing. Uh-oh. One man down. Man down. The good thing is that it's not one of our special ones. It's not one of the ones that we thought were endangered. It's just a average little minnow. I'll go ahead and do him a favor and leave him in there they may eat him i don't know but now guys i guess we can maybe start getting quieter the good thing i guess about crow hunting is that you don't have to be really quiet which is probably the only reason i'm good at it as long as i'm pretty camo i'm pretty good i feel so cool wearing a fanny pack with this thing on it makes me feel like i'm in the army like no lie that looks like just a bunch of crows sitting in the field, but that's my decoys. I mean, I'm sure you knew it was my decoys since you just watched the last six minutes of me setting them up. But just think about it. That looks pretty good. I mean, that with that uh, little, uh, with the little fake decoy moving, it just makes it all look nice. If I had some little mojos, like ones with the wings spinning, I think that would be great. It would look really real then. I think we have a really good chance of uh, killing a few. But then again, I am by myself, so I've only got the firepower of the 870 plus this gun. And it's going to be holding on to the shotgun, so we really only got the 12 gauge. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh. Ah, It's been a while since I've sat in this seat. The last time I hunted here, or should I say, the last successful time I hunted here, it was really good. I mean, we killed like six, but there was two of us and one of us had a 10 gauge. So if that tells you anything, there's a lot more firepower than there are here. As for the gun itself, I'll go ahead and show it to you. Absolutely love this shotgun. It is a 28 inch barreled 12 gauge 870. Originally it had wood on it. Then I went and switched it out for a black stock. So now it's like black on black on black on black on black on black. It's really, it's like a, it's a black gun. I'm just saying. Then I actually put the KG Red Dawn on it. I'll be honest guys, I think this really helps with crow hunting because think about it. Say my finger is this end of the barrel if you're aiming at a crow and your barrel goes above the crow your barrel's gonna cover up the crow so you can't see it with the red dot on the other hand it's basically a big circle and your sights in the middle so if you go too high on a red dot and your dot and your dots right here you can still see the crow right here because it's a big glass ring and you can basically see all around your target but then we also got the kg gunsling i don't know if many of y'all know about this or if like just no one wants it <laughs> this thing's like so great it comes with the little clips that go into your gun plus it's super padded right there so it's perfect for long distance but anyways i'm gonna stop talking guys i've, I've, I've probably talked enough for the whole video already maybe y'all can sit on my boot and see everything i'm doing oh first goes my face mask y'all can't see me put it on but just trust me guys i'm putting it on my face then with the fingerless hunting gloves boom boom pal and one thing with crows they have amazing eyesight pretty much like turkeys and because of that you need your full body camo even your hands and your face and then of course i'll put the hat right back on my head now we'll load up drop one in and then we'll come in put two in the bottom and safety on so now we're good to go i'm, uh, I'm gonna start calling here we go oh yeah yeah if you can't see anything i'm actually right here i'm just got camouflage on yeah i know it's 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 good camouflage i ain't gonna lie pro gang that's it that's the one i love it's crow gang go ahead crank the volume up 
And then the cool thing, I can actually plug two sounds at once. We're just gonna let that one go for now. Put everything down, guys. We're going with the GoPro. Hopefully we can get one pretty quick. I think we can. I can hear some in the background, so they'll be over here probably anytime. Okay, so, uh, nothing happened. That's okay. That's literally just part of it. I got one more spot I'd like to try. I gotta get some gas for the mule because it don't have any. But, uh, I think we, I think I, it's not over, okay? It's not over. We still got good chances. We can still absolutely make this happen. I got a drone coming in the mill. Who's supposed to be today? I'd like to get the drone up and see what we look like from the sky. I think that'd be really cool. We are officially at location two. Got all the decoys spread out. Done that off camera because it's basically the same exact thing I did the first time. Just spread them out and make them look like they're trying to fight. Strangely enough, the field I pick has a dead dog in the middle of it. And I'm not going to show you because it's really weird. But that didn't phase me a bit. I set the decoys right around it. Like literally just a dead dog sitting here. I don't know what's going on with it. Well, let's head over to my favorite tree in the area. Get down. I can hear some right across the river. Right here's where I'm setting up. The river's to my back fields right here on this side i've done really good at this place before but i never really killed one so it's kind of uh kind of whatever however you want to feel about it Well, we tried there. We may get another shot. We'll hang still, and if we're lucky, they may come back, but I don't know. There's a good chance they may never come back now. It is actually the next day. Unfortunately, guys, we actually didn't see, like, hardly many crows at all. I mean, I shot at that one because he did get pretty low. I felt like I had a good chance of killing him, but as we both saw three shots still didn't kill him but that's not stopping us okay today we're back out here with the head cam the chest strap fanny pack and the remington 870 i'm actually still gonna shoot some flying things except this time they're gonna be made out of dirt clay pigeon update it's been about uh, 40 minutes and i'm coming with y'all with pretty bad news one i found the pigeons but i don't know where the pigeon thrower is now i had it once and uh I don't, don't know where it is now. And now that I think about it, this was actually a problem whenever I first put the red dot on the 870. I came in here and shot some of these. And I remember I couldn't find it then either. And I literally just had to throw them up with my hand. Tell you one thing, that's not going to stop us today. We will throw them suckers up with my hand if I have to. Well, also, I want to let you know, by the end of the video, we're going to be doing a pretty big birch drop. And two pieces of those merch drops is KG Single Blade Gen 2 pocket knives in two different handle colors. Now, just like last time, there's only a hundred of them, and the stock is going to be very, very low. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and throw on the head cam. I mean, unless the thrower just drops out of the sky, we're probably not going to get... We're, we're probably just going to throw them up by our hand. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. One Remington coming up. Shell's in there. Spider is knocked off the gun. I don't know if y'all can see me right now, but I'm actually digging in my backpack to pull out some shells. There we go. We're shooting a Winchester because it's the cheapest stuff I could find. That may or may not be the reason why I did not kill the crow yesterday. I'm going to turn it on a green dot. Man, if I had my pigeon thrower, that'd be so much cooler. See, now I literally don't even know how to do this. Like, am I just going to, whoo, boom. Oh, here we go. Let's try it. Uh, pretty easy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really easy, actually. 
go ahead and throw this one. Whoa. I missed it. Eh. Okay, sweet. The battery died on the GoPro. Awesome. Also, I realized I forgot ear protection. And that shotgun's really loud. I think that'll be okay, though. Our biggest problem is we're gonna have to try to film this with no GoPro. That means I'm gonna have to try to stick you guys up on some random tree back here. That might work. Probably not, though. I'm trying to figure it. Trying to... Trying to... Oh, gosh. I'm trying to set y'all up in this tree. I want to set y'all up so that you can actually see what air in the world I'm trying to do. Okay, okay. Here I am. I know it looks like... I know I look like I'm just a big shadow, but... Maybe you'll be able to see the clay pigeon better. I'm loading my gun, if you can't tell. There's one, here's two. And let's try again this time. Okay, ready? Throw it out there. It's a little bit better. It's pretty good, it's pretty good, not bad. There's two for two. And I missed it. I don't know. Maybe I'll lock that. Coming up. I'm going to throw this in like a rabbit. Kinda. Let's throw this in nothing like a rabbit. Boom. We just stepped on that one. We hit it and killed it for sure. Like, why is it so hard to throw a clay pigeon? I mean, I definitely hit hit most of them, and I definitely hit that one. I just stomped it to death. But, like, I tried to hit those, and I can do it every, I can do it pretty good. But it's just the, the trajectory of my hand thrown pigeon is just not right. I mean, it goes up, and then it comes straight back down. On a normal pigeon, they fly. You know, they go, woo. Whenever I just throw them in my hand, they don't fly. They just go up and down. Basically, like I'm throwing something straight up and trying to shoot it on the way back down. That's not, that's not good. That's not how it's supposed to be. Here's the one that I said was a rabbit. Yeah, I missed it until my last shot. That's okay, because we're just going to step on it. That way, if anyone comes by and sees it, they'll think, oh yeah, they shattered that pigeon. Good job. That's some good shooting right there. Here's one of my waddings on the ground. Just, uh, that's what, that's what holds all your shot together until it gets outside the barrel. <laughs> I already told you this, but I forgot my ear protection, and that was really loud. I guess we'll come over here and do the verse of the week, and then after we do the verse of the week, we'll go ahead and do the merch drop. I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty big stuff. This week's verse of the week is coming out of Proverbs 13:6. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. Now, what's that? Oh, wow, these are big shells. Look at it. That's a big shell, guys. Is that a 270 or 300? Yeah, that's a 270. And all these are 270s as well. But back to the verse of the week. That verse is basically saying that uh, when you're being righteous, you're going to be good. Wow. Good job, Kendall. That's really in-depth. But the biggest part of that verse is actually the second half. As it says, wickedness will overthroweth the sinner. That's saying that the wickedness, if we go out there and do bad stuff, even if we start out being a Christian, wickedness can really bring us down. That's really what it's saying. So even though we are Christians, we still got to be careful because wickedness can drag you down, and it can drag you down really fast and really far. But now let's come on down and get into the merch drop. So obviously, I've already told you, the KG Fanny Pack, that's not part of the merch drop. What is a part of the merch drop is whatever's under my hoodie. Yes, sir. I've been wanting a red KG shirt for quite a long time, you know. I mean, personally, I'd like to have a KG shirt in every color. That way I can just wear any color I want but still have KG. And then I finally got this one with the KG Red Tigress. Red on red. I like it, guys. It's just a good old solid red shirt here. Just how crispy it is on the inside. We just dropped this shirt on the website right now, along with its blue inverse right here. That one's called the Blue Tigress. This one's called the Red Tigress. Kind of kind of self-explanatory, you know what I mean? And we really didn't get a ton of them. So if you want one, go ahead and get it, guys. You need this, Derek. I've been saying your name for about three months now on video, so Derek, you stinking need this shirt. But now, as I pull out of my pocket, we have the two brand new KG single blade pocket knives. We're gonna start it off hot and heavy, boys. Straight up woodland camo. The camo pattern is KG camo, just like every other piece of camo I have. But this one is in woodland. Last time we released the pink, which I carry every day, along with the blue, 
but now we're coming out with more toned down colors. And this is up on the site right now. There's only like 95 of them, so if you want it, you may want to go get it pretty quick, but not before you see the other one. You may even want this one better. We got it in tan. That's not white, that's tan. A lot of people really like the tan face mask and the Adam hat, so I was like, let's convert the KG camo into a tan color and so we did check that out guys oh check them out guys those are up on the website if you want them you better go get them quick because last time we sold out in less than a day listen guys if you want them head on over there kindlegray1.com slash shop with the first link in the description i'm gonna end it right here i'm not even gonna try to waste your time but if you don't want the knives you can always watch this video watch this playlist i don't think you'll be too disappointed and if you are just unsubscribe i don't know